Buongiorno, Francesco. Hello, Ulysses. Hi, Pete. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, the streets are jammed. Crazy drivers. Well, why don't you have Pete shoot one or two? That way they'll learn to get out of the way. Pete don't shoot anybody anymore. <laughs> do you, Pete? What does he do? Fight them on the neck? I send them flowers and candy. Be sure he don't send you any. <laughs> what do you have for me, Counselor? I need your signature on a few things. The first is a new tax shorter deal. You and I and others will be investing $240,000 over the next five years to build a computer center in Dallas, which you will lease to the Panavian Oil Company. Is that good? Good? Well, for $240,000, you get to deduct $680,000 from your income tax over the next five years. And after five years, you have a cash <laughs> You know, that's there. terrific, Ulysses. <laughs> is it legal? Oh. Forget I asked. You should read it first. I take your word. What's this? The new taxi driver's agreement. Are you happy? They're screaming. <laughs> then it's a good deal. <laughs> Pete could always send them flowers and candy. <laughs> the last is a lease on this office building. Lease my ass. I own it. You'll be leasing it from yourself as an office building for the Alliance. Taxes. You want me to explain it? Hell no, I wouldn't understand half of it. <laughs> Smartest thing I ever did was to get you out of Sicily into that English law school. Being half English, half Sicilian was a good break for both of us. Pretty soon, I can quit and live like a human being. You tried that five years ago. But this time, God damn it, I'll do it. <laughs> No, don't worry about Pete. He's my man all the way. <laughs> Even out of this jungle. Huh, Pete? I hope he's right, Pete. Stick to sending candy. Somebody said he might come down to welcome the cross. He had time. Why don't you walk over and say hello? Are you kidding? He has not talked with me for years. And you know it. Fate presto. What about them? Do it 
hell with them. Come on. that set you back? What the hell's the difference? <laughs> a few thousand would change. It's something nice for the guys in the halibut fleet. Something nice for you too, Salvatore. Bacio Imani. It feels good to do a little something, don't it? I always feel good. Oh, yeah. I can tell. Good? I'll be stoned for a week. Captain, the priest is here. Is this yours, Father? Yes, well, I mean, no. I'm sorry. It was a gift uh, from Sicily, you know, for the fishermen, for the blessing of the fishermen, to get a big catch. Many of the men here have come from Sicily. Whose idea was it, Father? I don't know. Look, if you brought this 8,000 miles for a celebration, it must have been somebody's idea. It was, of course, but it was an anonymous gift. The whole idea came in a letter. I still have it. I'll give it to you. It was just signed, a friend. Is the cross damaged? The cross is fine. It's OK. But every junkie in San Francisco is going to have a real good season. <laughs> He was anonymous. He? Why not a woman? Somebody sends a priceless crucifix from a village in Sicily. And you say he? I assume uh, there were... There uh, were rumors? Some gossip among fishermen? No real gossip, uh, Your Eminence. Oh. It was just a whisper. I didn't believe it for a moment. Perhaps you don't want to believe it. No eminence. Then repeat the whisper to me. Salvatore Francesco. <laughs> what 
What the hell is this? What does it mean? I'll kill him. I'll kill the son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Shut up. Let me sleep, please. Who did this to me? Who did this? Who did this? Don't ask me, son. Where's Pete? Still asleep. Oh, still asleep. Get him up. Take me to Francesco. He's busy right now. Are the eggs okay? Oh, you're getting close, huh? I'll get it. Could be important. I'm sure it is. Hannah, when you pass your bar exams, one of the first practical lessons you will learn as a lawyer is to avoid answering the phone whenever possible. Feel like doing some work? Why not? Well, in that case, you can file these Francesco contracts. Should have been done yesterday. And cancel my appointments. Tell them I've gone to Tijuana for the bullfights. The bullfights? That's terrible. So's your cooking. What's happening? There's a call, Charlie. Something terrible's happened to your grandmother. Shit. Something terrible must have happened to her. <laughs> She's been dead for 15 years. Check the hall, baby, will you? Hello? Charlie? Yeah. What's the matter with you? Well, hello, your grace. How are you? Fine, I want you to come up to San Francisco. There's a job on. You got a good one, huh? I hope it's not like Chicago. No, it's not like Chicago. Well, what about Pittsburgh? This will be a goodie. Uh -huh. It's a lot <laughs> of bread. I give you my word. How much? A million. Your humbleness, I will see you in 24 hours. Bye. Say, by the way, how did I do? Terrific, you were number two. That's not good enough. Ciao. That one who looks like a fire hydrant is Max Murdo. Now, he owns a South Bay. His main interests are loan sharking, extortion, 
A truck line that moves stolen property from city to city and an occasional murder. Sounds like a wonderful fellow. Well, everybody's got to have a hobby. Who's the black dude? Oh, that's Jack Greenwood. He looks like a pimp, but he's really an accountant. Graduated first in his class at Berkeley. He runs a numbers operation in the ghetto. The white-haired one who looks like Santa Claus. He's into gambling. Big contacts in Vegas. Don't let his appearance fool you, he's a killer. I don't know if he's into drugs, but he's certainly got the muscle and the machinery for it. All the numbers runners on the streets. Have they made contact with you yet? No, but they will. Unless they start shooting instead of talking. Things haven't changed a bit, have they, Ulysses? That's right. Put another dime in. Whatever you say, old maestro. Perhaps after this you will allow me to kiss your feet. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> we have a problem. Our friend Salvatore feels that he's been betrayed. Someone used a generous gesture of his to bring into the country certain contraband material without Salvatore's knowledge or his agreement using our church. This brought disgrace and embarrassment to his family. He feels particularly upset because there are a lot of ways to do this without taking advantage of a friend or a business associate. Look, Joe, if you think somebody here brought in that load of shit, say so. No one is making accusations. We are here to work on a problem. Salvatore is asking our help. And I have decided that he should have it. We're in business, Charlie. They're getting nervous down there. Now, whoever took the load is suddenly very rich. And there's no use in a closet. They'll have to sell it. Blast the bloody machine. Give me another dime. I don't think I got... You got my last one, man. Stronzo. Right. We look for the money, then we find the drugs and the man. Right. Ulysses, wait a minute. What if this is Francesco's job? I mean, this whole thing could be a setup. He could have rigged this whole job as a cover, then double-crossed himself just to make it look good. And, man, this is not just some ordinary hood we're dealing with. This is Zio Francesco, your uncle. What are you going to do? I'll have to kill him. I don't think your uncle's going to like that. And what happens, Ulysses, if before you get to him, he finds out that you are the organization's man? Then he'll kill me. And you too, Caro. Me too? Why me? Hey, come on, Ulysses. Why me? I'm just a poor, innocent, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. And we all agree to help Salvatore as much as we can. And we agree that when we find the person responsible for this betrayal of Salvatore Francesco, we will be united in his destruction. What if it's Francesco? Even if uh, it's Salvatore Francesco himself. That's for me. Yeah, it's for me. I got it. That's right. Okay, bye. guys waiting for a call? What of it? If someone wants to use the phone, that phone is out of order. Must be important. What about a drink? It's on the house? Glad okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Got anything to sell? Well, we might. Are you guys crazy? You got shit in your brains. I want to go back to Sicily. In the meantime, we broke. If this deal is on a level, I think I can help. Oh. I know a guy that can sell us some money. Seven percent, all included. Seven percent a month? A week. Hey, if the call comes through, it's just a question of hours. Yeah, sure. Are we gonna live like bums having a million bucks in our hands? Shut up. I'll decide what to do. Yes, sir. Call at your earliest convenience.
Don Giuseppe? Uh, Ulysses, abbiamo due problemi. Usaccio, a giù le tuo giornale. Good. Even a respectable old man must watch what he says on the telephone. You must find the jackals who did this before there is trouble amongst us. Ah! Don Giuseppe, vi sentite male? No, no, a touch of arthritis. <laughs> At my age, one should not complain of such a small thing. You know the problem? What is your fee? Ten percent of the value. That could be a great deal. Then 10% of a great deal. You will, of course, return the material as part of your work. <laughs> do I make myself clear, Ulysses? Don Giuseppe, I do not deal in the profits of drug peddlers. I understand. All I care about is the removal of this problem from the family. There will be the usual retainer to your account in Switzerland. But there is one thing I must tell you, Ulysses. Listen to me well. Francesco is a weak man in some ways. The last time when he tried to retire, it was only because of you he was not... I remember it well. Remember? There is no pardon for him if there is a second time, capiche? D'accordo. So we got a deal? We have a deal. Hannah, get me on the noon flight to Rome and Sicily. Sicily, great, I'm already packed. Then get unpacked. You huh? can drive me to the airport. What are you talking about? Well, I want you to hit the streets. You're looking for new faces with new money. Or drugs. Or maybe both. And not women. Oh, please, Your Grace. Now, listen, this jealous streak in your nature has simply got to stop. I never knew you cared that much. Good Sicilians come home again. I'm only half Sicilian. That's why it took me so long. Well, you can see nothing changes here. Our uh, church has. It seems naked without the cross. For 50,000 American dollars and a new school, I would swim naked to America. You understand, I'm sure. I'm sorry, but I've told you all I know, Ulysses. It's not important, Father Domenico. For me, it's enough to be in my mother's home again. My dear Ulysses, this is more than a home. This is a refuge for you, for his eminence, for Salvatore, and for all the Sicilians who went to America. But home is always home, Father. <laughs> See? Ah, see? Mayor 
Doctor. I consider myself indeed fortunate to find you in your office. You see, I need your help. I am very busy, but I will try. I was uh, born here many years ago, but have always remembered the need of the people. There is always a need. And remembering that need, I would like to make a contribution to you for some good public work in return for a small service. Just a moment, please. Anything we can do for one of our own is a pleasure. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. As I said, it's a small service. I want the names of the last ten men who left this place and their destinations. It is an unusual request. It is an unusual donation. Do you make the contribution now? No. After you've made the list. For various reasons, one must be discreet about both lists and donations. Do you understand? <laughs> Sei sicuro che non è uguale agli altri? No, questo è pesce speciale, l'ho preso io. Lei eh, sembra uguale agli altri. No, è fresco, freschissimo, speciale proprio per me. Va bene, qual è il pesce che voglio? Grazie. Hello, Mama. A very good friend of mine tells me you might have some directions to Dream Street. Oh, that's not easy to find around here, Sonny. Come on, Mama. Don't you jive me. This friend of mine said, if you want to take a ride on Dream Street, you go see Mama with the sweet, sweet feet. I need it bad. Look in your wallet and see how bad. Oh, Mama, I need it bad. Really bad. I think I got about five dollars. Ten. Twenty? For twenty dollars, you get one from column A and one from column B, and the combined special is fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for that whole thing? A lot of money. Well, look, Mom, I'll tell you what. I'll take what you have in column A, and let me see something from column B. All right. That's right, Mama. Thank you very much. Hope it doesn't rain. Don't spend it all in one place now. You owe me ten bucks.
what's been happening here, Charlie? Well, Ulysses, you wouldn't believe this. But we've been all over the world, right? We've had the best. Right. Well, the other night on Broadway, a sweet little old lady laid some shit on me that completely revolutionized my Charlie, consciousness. Charlie, you out of your frigging mind. Powdered milk. Then the stuff's still locked up. I guess so. Hello. Hi. Would you like something else over here? I certainly would. How's Martha and the children? Who the hell's Martha? <laughs> That's what I'd like to know. Oh, now, darling, please, don't believe a word Charlie. Say. The list of names I acquired in Sicily. We can eliminate the women and children. We're looking for three men who left Sicily on the same day. Whoever's responsible for the shipment wouldn't let it travel without someone riding shotgun. They came with it. They hijacked it. And for my money, they still have it. Uh, yeah, there were three of them. Can you describe them for me, George? One is a, yeah, one is a, an old man. Fat, with a mustache. Two of the young ones. One's tall, one's a little shorter, and they're driving a big car. Uh-huh. How long have they been working here? About two weeks. Still here? Only part-time. Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays and Saturdays. Okay, George, thanks a lot. You've, uh, you've been very helpful. Anytime. Uh, hey, hey, you guys. Hey, ain't this a great idea, huh? Yeah. For me to borrow yeah. the money to buy this goddamn car, eh? What do you think, eh? <laughs> yeah. When I risk my ass for a son of a bitch who leaves us under a hook, I'm going to travel first class. <laughs> Hey, Hetty, how you doing? Hello, Charlie. How are you? Listen, you haven't seen Chico around. Yes, right I have. He's right over there. Okay, thanks a lot. You're looking good. Hello, Charlie. How you doing, Barbara? I'm doing fine, baby. Just fine. Hi, Trish. She's got nice taste in clothes, huh? How you doing, my man? <laughs> All right, Chico, how's it going? You know me, stabbing horses to steal blankets, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my main man, I need a favor. Sure, anything, baby. In your recent travels around the world, you uh, didn't by any chance hear of any of the following men, have you? Bolognini, Borghese, Pano, Nicoletta, Fortunat. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, look. Like, I, I dig you, man, you know? Like, we go back a long ways, right? But, uh, why don't you just, uh, leave me out of this, okay? Da hey, look, Chico, I would like to leave you out of it, but I'm in a jam and I need some help. If you know something, you gotta spill. Oh, I guess you're forgetting shit. that I got you down Charlie, off that like, Look, man, I'll give you anything. You know that, like, do you want my clothes, man? Do you want my woman, man? But just leave me out of it. Just freeze on it, okay? But if you want to change your mind and consider yourself one of my friends, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm gonna spread the word that you are a turkey deluxe. All right, all right. I tell you only where they're hiding out at, and that's it. Hey, your friends, the ones you borrowed money from, are looking for you. What can I do? <laughs> Sell this stuff and get out before it's too late. I gotta talk to you. 
I'm in the middle of a game. I'll be right with you. Master, sorry to disturb you at this moment, but some very interesting news has developed. Yeah? Three of the names on that list checked out. Pano, Nicoletta, and Fortunato. They've been working on the docks for about two weeks. Yes, go well, on. When they started working, they didn't have a dead dime. They were absolutely broke. Now, one of the cats is driving some very fancy wheels. Two of those sharks just did a, a heavy number on Nicoletta, so if you want to, I can, I can put some pressure on them. Or... No, it won't be necessary. Let them do the work for us. I'll tell you what, why don't we have all the junk taken off the streets? Ulysses, you are the true genius of the world. Who's going to argue with you? Okay. This is from the old man, and he wants it done fast. You get around to see all of the guys, every one of them. Tell them to take everything off the streets. All the hard stuff and all the grass, too. Everything. The town's going to explode. And let it explode. Well, he's not so smart. It could be in the streets of uh, Cincinnati, Cleveland, or maybe New Orleans. New York, or Chicago, by now. No, no, if that's the case, you'll hear the screams across the whole country. The old man wants everything off the streets. Okay. Who tells the old man what to do? Why don't you ask him? Nice place. It's a dump. It's dirty. Guy who cleans up is a lush. Well, at least you get a lot of laughs. I never laugh. You wouldn't either if you worked here. I never saw you here before. Mister? Hey, mister. Hey, Marty. Any news? Nope. 
Give me a cigarette and your clothes. The same old chicks. Marty, I need another five grand in a hurry. So do I. You know, it's a pain in the ass to come here every night and look at creeps like you. It's all because of that damn call. Hey, you said you got a million dollar deal on your hands. And you can't raise another five? Why don't you phone them? They get off the boat. Then, work five days and think they can buy a 15 grand pussy wagon on credit. That bastard. Why don't we go to pick up the shit and sell it? They'll kill us if we touch it. That's the only way we can make a contact. At least we'd know who they are. Hey, why we don't sell the goddamn car? Uh, Who'd buy the fucking thing? You'll never know. Somebody might buy it. This isn't the kind of car you stick in the middle of the street and people want to come up to you and buy it. Ciao, Belladonna. Uh, no, we can find a hey, shop that price is cheap enough. Oh, huh? tell me. Who, we should try it. Hey, who, who's gonna buy the damn car? Excuse me, gentlemen. I uh, don't wish to butt in, but only this morning a friend of mine was asking me where he could get a good deal on a used car. That looks pretty good, not too shabby, not bad at all. I bet this baby can really haul ass. Hey, maybe we can do a good deal. My uncle owns an agency. He gives me below all cost. No shit? You can have it at a third of its price. How much? It's yours for 8,000. 8,000? Oh, no, man. 8,000 is too much money. I'll give you five. No. Maybe we could do a deal, huh? Tell me something. Why do you want to sell it anyway? We're leaving town. We're going to the Philippines. Yeah, you're right. In the Philippines. Well, I'll tell you what, boys. I'm interested, but I've got to test drive it first. Test drive? But it's absolutely new. I don't give a flying part if it's absolutely new. I have got to test it. No test, no deal. Okay, I'll take you for a test drive. It'll take us five minutes. All right, now, let's see. All right, that's the steering wheel, that's the brake, right? That's the, uh, that's the accelerator, right? Are you sure you know how to drive? Yeah, I think so. I think I can drive this, baby. Okay, let's go around the block, but take it easy. Okay, don't you worry about a thing. My motto is always take it easy, safety first. Okay, go around the block. Yeah, okay, ready? Good. Oh! <laughs> Hold on, baby. Daddy's gonna take you on a cosmic ride. Get away! <laughs> Get out of the road, Corky! Hey, he's got nice passing gear. Wait, 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 wait! Did you turn around the block? Whoop, I missed the turn. Damn it! We got it! We got it! Don't worry about a thing. Turn it right there. Yeah, not bad. Handles pretty good. I like this sucker. It really moves. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that! Huh? Uh-oh, uh -oh, down we go. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. Uh, you have insurance? No. Sorry. Warm up. Whoa! You know, the thing about this car that's nice is that uh, it's different from other cars. I mean, what year is this model? Oh, I better test the brakes. No! We put the stuff in. I just don't understand it. I used to know this city like the back of my hand. You're not worried, are you? Well, we know the radio, the steering wheel, and the windshield wipers work, but I better test the brake one more time. Ah! Oh. You all right? No. Oh, my God, man. I mean, look what you did to the window. There he is. Get the car! Did we just lose something? Uh, that's all right. Wait a minute. I'll just back up here. Come here. Now I know where I'm going. Don't worry about a thing. Yep, right straight ahead. Here we go. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Door. Hey, we... It's 
It's not safe to drive like that. Hey, is it my imagination or is this car getting lighter? Please. These smog devices don't do a damn bit of good. There's a very destructive streak in your makeup, Charlie. It's all part of the job. Oh, they've only one place to go now. But for God's sake, be careful. You're going to be walking around with a million dollars worth of shit. I know, I know. For Luigi Nicoletta. Luigi Nicoletta. Will you sign here, please? Ulysses, if you've got troubles. He's smart. He's your nephew. Don't I know it? I can't trust the son of a bitch. But he loves you. You're his family. I only know one family. Well? There's nothing on the streets. No, I don't want to hear about it. I only want one man. And when he moves... I'll blow his head off. Hmm? <laughs> Pete and me. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right, Pete. Just like the good old days. Just like the good old days.
thought it would be you. I think it's time to make an arrangement. We can sit down for some breakfast and talk. And talk it over. Like men of... Men of honor! Men of honor! <laughs> I lost him. Oh, great. But he picked up the box at the post office. Well, let's hope he doesn't make the drop. Anyway, we've got bigger problems. Somebody just hit continents on the boss of bosses. Oh, shit. That means we don't get paid. Well, don't you do anything for free? No, never. Well, think of it as a new and exciting experience. Right, let's go to Sausalito. Why Sausalito? Because there is a man over there who is considered the best in the business. What business? What are we talking about? Money. Murder. Ciao, Giulio. Ciao. Come stai? You want to bet I can get to you before you can get to the gun? Do you need something? Charlie, here. Ah, molte grazie. Can he swim? He can shoot. That I can guarantee. He gets $100,000 a hit. A hundred thousand? If the rate is coming up, he must keep it up his ass in silver. Maybe you better get him up, Charlie. Ulysses, please. I don't want to go in there again. Charlie, go get him. Ulysses, did you see Jaws? <clears throat> help! Charlie, he asked you to help him. I thought you wanted me to help drown him. No, 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 Charlie. First we ask questions, then we drown him. Bring him up. Help! My friend <coughs> thinks you should be drowned. I think you're worth saving. It all depends on you. <coughs> Julio, who hired you to hit Continental? No, I didn't hit Continental. Drown him. He's not kicking anymore. Maybe you'd better bring him up. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> partner. <coughs> I turned the job down. I, I, I didn't want it. If they're going to have a war, I stay out of it. I'm neutral. Who tried to hire you? A call, a voice on the phone. Who? I don't know. Drown him. No, no, don't, please. Please. It was Francesco. Look out! Don't you, don't you, don't hurt me.
sorry. to get back on the road. I will, I will, just relax.
Bernard. Suggestion, Charlie. The next time you're out shopping, why don't you pick up one of those amphibious vehicles? Very funny. Nothing's broken, is it? Yes. My faith in your driving. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks for all your friendly confidence. Speaking of friendship, if you consider Francesco to be one of your friends, I'd hate to meet some of your enemies. Perhaps you didn't hear Giulio Polizzi the last time he was going down. His final word was Francesco. You believe him? Believe him? Well, look, we're not precisely in a world of truthful people. How do you know you can believe anybody? I don't. All right, Ulysses, I'm telling you, the time is ripe to bust Francesco. Not yet. What are you waiting for, a bullet in your head? Charlie, this is a family matter. It will be settled in the proper way. Oh, screw the family! Look, I'm not in this for laughs. I am in this for the money. And there's a million dollars at stake, and I... Piss well, off, take a walk. I'm walking. Ulysses, what the hell does it look like I'm doing? I'm walking. Then walk on the other side of the road. I'm sick of your goddamn complaints. It's a pleasure. Believe me, Your Grace, it is a pleasure. You know, you're out of your fucking mind, Ulysses. The next time you want a driver, call a taxi. Try driving yourself for a change. How you like that, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, sorry. I trust it's amphibious. But of course, sir. Only the best for you, sir. Francesco? Maybe. Ulysses, I don't see enough of you. Nor I of you, Francis. This a business or a personal call? Francesco. Come. Now he sends his lawyer to church, like you do in a police court. He didn't send me, Francis. Quite frankly, I need your help in, in understanding him. Sit down. The problem is, in many ways, Francesco is closer to me than any other. After all, he's my mother's brother. We have the same blood. All my life, it was Francesco I could trust. He protected me. He had me educated. He loved me. Like the father I never had. You must not continue to associate with him. And be tainted with his corruption. Why not, Francis? Because he's a killer first. Sicilian second. And uh, last of all, he's not your friend. Not my friend? That I don't believe. He was a killer when he was 15. 15? How could he kill when he was a boy? We played together. I remember no killing.
inside. What's the matter? You didn't like the sermon? I think I figured it out. Good, that's good, Sherlock. It was the bishop, right? I know, because it was wearing green socks and night of the murder. I'd give my left arm if it were as simple as that. Hurts pretty bad, huh? It hurts. Come on, let's step on stones, as we say in Sicily. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Well, there's one down and two to go. Ciao. Did you sell your car yet? Where the hell did that come from? Oh, 
Charlie, watch that son of a bitch up there. It's all over this, Graziato. Non vedi niente. Non sa niente. What is he saying? He's lost his tongue. It's your last chance to stay alive. I didn't see nothing. I don't know nothing. È la mia parola di onore. Your last chance. Non vedi niente. Non sa niente. You're going to tell the organization who set you up. Eh, tutto quello. Che posso dire? <laughs> I'll put this four or five million dollars worth of shit in here. We split that a couple of ways, we take a nice vacation. Charlie, let's go back to work. Pardon me, sweetheart. Could you please tell me where the powdered milk is? Uh, row four, behind the sugar, in front of the flour. Pasteurized, pulverized, reconstituted, dehydrated, and skimmed. Add water, stir. Tastes like shit. Thanks. Freeze. Those gymnastics are slowing you down, Joe. What do you want? I don't want anything you do. I've got the box and the junk still in it. It's for sale. What are you talking about? The box. You and your associates are going to buy it. How much? One million in cash. It's worth three or four million on the streets, but we're not in that business. We'll settle for a million. Nobody's got a million. Then get it. By tonight. I'll tell you where. You bring the cash. You get the box. <laughs> Anything about it. We just 
Got a call. No. 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 No, not me. Finish praying. I came to talk, not to pray. You have to stop Ulysses. I can no more stop him than I could stop you. Does he know all of it? He knows. Sal, why did you use the cross? It was your gift. No one would believe I could be so stupid. Huh. I was so smart. Did you want just another million dollars? No, drugs had nothing to do with it. I wanted Continenza. And his man of the organization. Now you have them. And they have you. Goodbye, Frank. Goodbye, Sal. Seems awfully quiet. Almost too quiet. I'll take it from here, Charlie. What do you mean? Facha or facha? Facha, facha? Face to face? It's family business. Okay. Give my regards to the family. I'll see you around, I hope. Thank you. 
Why are we stopping here? It's the end of the road, Charlie. What are you talking about? I'm going into retirement. Retire? I've always wanted a place up high. Look at that. Can you imagine what sort of a view you get from up there? Ooh. Just living among the clouds. Seagulls for neighbors. The occasional sparrow dropping in for lunch. Sparrow dropping in for lunch? Hey, Ulysses, the car! Wait, wait, the car! My car! Wait! Oh, my God. What's the matter, Charlie? It was only powdered milk, wasn't it? I mean, what's the use of crying over powdered milk? Thank you. 